Very well, welcome back. Let's play Thea the Crimson Eclipse. Last time, we reached the end of the Sidereli, but we weren't able to stop Grant from using the first Catalyte on the Syncore. But that actually worked in our favor because now Dale, Dale, or Dale, whatever, is showing us a flashback of the past. So we may be understanding, we may understand better what happened, um, who Grant is and what he's trying to do and everything. Anyway, we are now with uh, this party with Neville and Mishra. If you paid close attention to the plot, Neville is actually Seth's father. And he is level 60, and he charges with attack, skill, and guard. And he's pretty buffed up. And then we have Mishra. He also charges exceed with attack, skill, skill, and guard. These, I think they are the only two characters that do so in the game, which makes them pretty powerful. And he's level 50 as well. Uh, he's level 50. So he's a little behind, but he's still pretty powerful. I don't think Misha has any gear on him, right? Neville has this golden line, which is pretty nice. 70% resistant to mastery and fire resistance. Also gives a bit of resistance. But yeah, Misha has nothing. So we want to definitely give something to him. Uh, I have the Titania, so I think I'll go for this. Yeah. Also gives him strength, which is what we want. They're both physical fighters with Misha being a little more of the support side but we're gonna see that in action soon actually we're gonna take a look at Mishra first so yeah apart from their basic attacks they do quite a bit of damage as you can see Mishra also starts with a couple buffs there that's because of her is furious will passive starts each battle under rex and exceed plus which is very nice indeed he also has shattered vein neutral damage and inflicts bleed based on strength not bad while well, down this dragon is taking 400 damage per turn and then he also has focus, inflicts exceed minus an alacrity status effect, which, hey, I guess it's not bad if you want to make him a speed demon. Oh, meanwhile, well, the dragon is doing no damage to Neville thanks to his protection. Meanwhile, it's gonna destroy him with Mishra. Mishra is more like a glass cannon. He doesn't even have a lot of uh, SPs to work with. He does have, an, it does have another skill we have we haven't seen yet. It's called Medicaid. But we're going to see in a second, it's a healing skill, it's a party healing skill. Which we're definitely going to need here. Okay, let's see. This screen has nothing, okay. I thought there was something there, but well, never mind. And Neville, on the other hand, is more like a tanky guy. It's, he can still attack, not bad, but... He's more resistant. Um, again, meditate. Medicate. Party healing. As you can see, Mishra already has 90 SPs. Yeah, his SPs are not really that good. Anyway, let's look at Neville a little bit. He's got his passive is conquering Exarch, attack increases the mastery bar faster, plus 50%, which is very nice. Then he has sacrifice, sacrifices some HP to deal serious damage, which actually works very well with revenge. It deals more damage when Neville's HP are low, so he can lower his HP with sacrifice and deal a lot of damage, and then. Raise, and then deal a lot of damage by using when he's low on HP with the other skill, which you might as well show off. Forget this pain. Yeah, very nice. But never mind because Mishra is way too strong. The fact that he starts with Reckless just enough. takes the cake. But anyway, we're gonna fight with these guys a bit. Through this little... I don't even know what to call it, this path? Oh well. I've made Should be another dragon, yep. I will this. Let's see if I can actually uh, show off Mishra's Exceed. I might be able to do that if I defend a little bit. Actually, Mishra's taking a lot of damage here. So you know what, I'm gonna defend you. twice. Okay, he is not doing good on health, but he has Medicaid for a reason. If I Medicaid twice, maybe I'll do a defend. So I recover some HP, I'll take less damage, thank you. And then I'll do another Medicaid, and now he can do his Exceed. Which I really want to show off because his Exceed is super cool. Yeah, Feast Your Eyes on Spectre Blade, deals strength based damage. That didn't kill it only because I was not attacking too much, and in fact, 
I just needed one attack from Neville to kill the dragon, so. Neville's exceed is a little bit harder to to show off. I have the chemical gloves, I could give him that, but we'll have a time later to show him off. I mean, there aren't even a lot of battles here. I've made up my mind. I will this is mainly just to just enjoy the fighting with high level characters. You'll eventually be this strong, but later on in the game. Because, I mean, this is a good thing. Playing these flashbacks with high-level characters is cool because it shows how much, how strong you can be end-game. It gives you something to work for. I shall put you out of your misery. And in fact, you killed it, Misha. You were stronger than I had expected, but it's still not enough. Yeah, because you almost actually killed you. Oh. Yeah, you have 1,000 health. Okay. Here we are, the temple. May the souls of our ancestors guide me toward the answer I seek. We both know the answer already, Neville. My Perion, Temis, and Phoebe were the last of the Tia heroes to complete the Holy Quest, positioning of the Catalyst Stones. The legend tells us of their pride in being chosen for the quest. Even though their ritual failed, I'm sure they try again and again. Those were different times. They didn't have to exterminate millions of people to pursue their goal. And yet this is our destiny, Neville. We have to do it for the safety of our people and our descendants. Maybe you're right. It's us or them. Come on, let's go. I still need to hear this from the last three apostles of Alcon. Check out the Alcon points. They work exactly like healing points, but they can only be used by characters with the passive Tia blood skill. Just like healing points, Orialcon points regenerate when you go back to the world map. Thank God both of our characters have that skill so we can just recover. Not that it matters, since there are no more battles for a while, but... Uh, over here, there's this temple that you cannot really check out the top of, but... You can menu glitch up here, and you can see how it is. There's nothing to do here, but it's just interesting to see. The old picture, I guess. Let me save it on all this line, and let's move on up here to meet these Apostles of Alcon. Halcon, our master, our supreme lord. I'm not worthy to walk in the sacred shrine, but I need to speak with the light spirits of our ancient heroes. Hyperion, the conqueror, Temis, the warrior princess, and Phoebe, the ruler of dragons. Please listen to our prayers. Sons of Halcon, are you here to find light? Who came here with doubtful heart to seek the sacred advice of Halcon and the apostles? My name is Neville Sidris, and I'm the I'm the army's exarch, and I'm Mishra Elenium, the army's magister. Me, Mishra, and the prisons Chris Maida will be chosen as new apostles, but my soul is restless. Mighty warrior, your mission is of vital importance for the safeguard of the rare species of Thias. We are aware that Altilia is infested by rebels that oppose the assault that will grant us survival. Their reasons are noble, but they don't understand that the Tia's life and Altilia's are at stake. If the three Catholics won't be positioned in their respective cores, the Tia's will have no hope of survival. We know that, but our success will bring an inevitable death to our enemies. This is too unfair. And what would happen if the purification ritual fails again? The last three apostles completed the mission, but the ritual failed even if the Catholics were positioned in their cores. How can we be sure that this time the ritual will work? You have to be faithful and trust us, our sons. The ritual may fail. Even us, like you, were tormented by doubts that didn't let us rest. But you are Altilia's army. Your duty is to protect and serve our people, like we did many centuries ago. The ritual must be completed at all costs. Without it, the tears will die. I... Understand. Being an apostle is a burden, but someone has to carry it. It's just... Never mind. I thank you, ancient heroes. I will carry on and complete this mission for the sake of our people. See? You are right as usual, Mishra. Let's head back to the Citadel. 
We will complete the mission, and this time the ritual will work for sure. The stars are smiling to us, I can feel it. And thank god it warps us out of the dungeon, except we have one more fight to do. Like, what's the point? Um, okay, what? maybe, okay. I don't know, like, I would have just put the, the characters after this battle, but whatever. It's just a little dragon. It's not gonna destroy us, hopefully. I say hopefully. Please don't kick my ass too bad. Too hard. Please don't Neville. Come on. Come on. That is 1000 damage. Come on. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Thank you. You were stronger than I had expected. But it's still not enough. I could farm by the way, because Misha is about to level up, but. Eh, whatever. It's not there's no point. There's no point in doing that. Anyway, we can leave through here. One new world map. Also, we can save. I mean, there's not much to do except going here. To the Citadel of the Ages, Heaven of the Surviving Tia. Let's go see the king. He'll be in the throne room now. Perhaps we won't be late for the war council. I hope so. The king doesn't take kindly to being kept waiting. We better hurry upstairs. Alright, so there are a lot of people to talk with in this place. It's kind of a big one, actually. But we're going to refrain to do that, because eventually we will be sent around this place anyway. So I might as well talk to the king first. Majesty, I'm sorry I'm late. Neville and Mishra, stand up, brave warriors. Majesty, we're terribly sorry for it. There's no need to apologize, Majesty Relenium. I foresaw your move, Exarch, and I delayed the council. Uh, I'm... Majesty, I'm desperately sorry. My behavior is unacceptable. Exarch, sit there, it's as I said, there's no need to apologize. There are many tears that oppose the assault, and then it's fair to have some doubts about it. You are the leader of the expedition, and you must not allow yourself to have any kinds of doubts or second thoughts. Have the Apostles of old answered your questions? Have they dispelled the old doubts from your mind? Yes, Majesty. The voice of the heroes guided me to an answer. We must fulfill the ritual or our kin will be doomed. Very well. So now it's time to begin our council of war. Gather the commanders of the army and call the third apostle. I will wait for you in the council room. We must find the guardian, Zen, and the priestess, Chrismaida. Dial must come with us too. After all, your sister is the headmaster of the Seekers. She knows the target, am I right? Indeed, and I must convince her that the assault is our only chance of survival. Alright, can I? Um, yeah, but these guards don't really say anything. I thought there was something extra to do here on the throne room, but apparently not. Oh well. So yeah, we were now sent around this place to find three characters. The ritual will go well, I'm sure of it. From his shining in the court of Altilia, Alcon protects us. And this boy here. Stop, 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 stop. I want to talk to you. Stop. My magic is still that of a tender food, but I'll learn. I'm really worried about the assault. Will it work this time? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it didn't work last time, so we're not really. Oh, yeah, we, are, we have this. We have many little Dales. Actually, they're just arcane sparrows. As we know, Dale is using a magic similar to what Mishra is using. Hang on, what's that? those people up there? I can't really... Because there are people up there, as you can see, but... There's one sprite to the very left I've never seen anywhere else. I wanted to check it, but... I can't glitch out of the room to check it. Well, whatever. This is probably the most relaxing place of Altilia. As I was saying, uh, these are Kane Sparrows. Uh, we know that Dal is using a magic similar to what Grant is using. A... What's it called in this version? Uh, Soul Schism. So that is actually a person around here, and she's also controlling one of these sparrows. The weather is really nice in this particular season. Hmm. I always wonder about the Citadel's water system. How does it work? Eh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, you can see Altilia from this terrace. Like, th this, this NPC is weird, because he says we can see Altilia from this terrace. I remember in the Italian, he says we can see the whole Altilia from this terrace. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, because Altilia is kind of like a planet. 
how can we see it all if it's a planet, you know? That's kind of odd. <laughs> oh, oops, I spoiled that this is a planet. <laughs> oh, well. I hope the assault and the ritual work this time. When I grow up, I'll become one of the Citadel of Wardens. And up here, there should be a shop, but we shouldn't be able to shop anyway. I'm losing my arcane prowess, so what an old man I've become. The Citadel makes me feel so safe. Okay, that's not a shop. There are shops here, but you're not allowed to do anything. Unfortunately. I always dreamt to be a member of the assault. It's a pity that I won't stay here at the Citadel much longer. I'll never leave the Citadel. May Alcon guide us to a new hero, hero's prosperity. Uh, what about you? The Citadel's inhabitants come here from all over Altilia. The monsters out there are destroying everything. This castle is the only place where we feel safe. The store is closed at the moment. We're preparing the provisions for the upcoming assault. So yeah, if you even try, you can actually talk to, I know, you can't, okay. I thought the woman would say something like, sorry, but we can't sell you anything. Oh, well. Down here, we have the prince. Zen, is everything all right? Neville, you're back. Yes, I visited the Sanctum of Legend seeking answers. Your mind is full of questions, isn't it? Just like your beloved sister, Dial. She doesn't want to begin the assault. Her reasons are convicting, 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 but we just can't wait any longer. We must act now. You seem troubled too. What's going on? Oh, don't worry, Neville. I'm just worried for, for my future and for Chrismeda. This assault will drastically change our lives, and I don't know what to do. Chrismeda is the princess. You knew it from the beginning that she would follow the footsteps of Temis, her ancestor. Chrismeda is an apostle of Alcon, just like me and Mishra. We carry the catalyst and our fate is to guide the assault and fulfill our sacred duty given by Alcon. I know, my friend, but what bothers me is our, our survival. I just don't want to lose her. We wanted to marry very soon, but now we don't even know whether both of us will be alive after the assault. I swore to protect you. I'm the Asark and I'll make sure that both of you and Chris Maida will be by my side after the ritual. Thanks for everything, Neville. You're a true friend. See you at the Council of War. Yeah, sure, I'll see you there. But we still have a couple people to find. Unfortunately, Dial is the last one that you can find. We have to find the princess first. And then we have another room over here. Full of people to talk to. How can please what's over us? And uh, there's another shop that I can... Yeah. I can rest? Uh, I don't need to. Oh, fine. I think, like... Okay, you know what? I'll rest just in case the game doesn't heal me before the next section of battles. Which, we'll, we'll do that next time, but I'm not sure if the game actually heals you. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna rest. I have a lot of money anyway. Alright, let's go up here then. There is the only treasure chest here. Tia 303, which we're gonna read in a second. These beds are so comfortable. Sure. Let's read that thing. Ebooks. I think it's something I already mentioned, but might be wrong. Same world, different eras part one. Some elements in the game link Tia to Fifth Era, another game developed by Lola Rocket Diver on RPG Maker 2003. In fact, the game often ends the Fifth Era's elements. One could possibly think that Tia takes, takes place during the First Era. People all over Arya Thale, and especially from Raikon, worship Ryan, or Rian, god of the First Era. And his father, the creator. Another element linking the two games is the Sabbath theme. This group appears in Fifth Era as well, even though their traits and goals are completely different than what the player sees in Tia's Merry Trio. Since Tia takes place in the first era of the world, one could think that a stone of Earth is on Arithil somewhere. I wonder if this is just a legend or not. Yeah, we're, we are actually finding it. It's actually all those mm, shards, the Gaia shards we'll be finding around. Those are shards of the uh, Stone of the Earth. I already called it. There are there will be more reference to 50R. We're gonna see one next time. Which is not really super obvious if you haven't played it. And then there are more later on in the post game. Monster attacks are increasing. I fear the worst. 
Actually, I think even the Lancaster Mansion we went with Nadia and Farian, that thing also appears in Fifth Era. I mean, it's a little different, and the quest is also different. There are no battles in there, just a boss fight at the end. But yeah, it's there. My journey starts now. Atelier is full of precious treasures, you know? Really? You know that? So far, I only found one treasure chest. It just had a book in it. And you don't really speak. Uh, is this this? No? No. Okay. So apart from that treasure chest, there really, there really isn't anything else here except for this. There's a shock dome here. And this is the first time that you can pick it up. We already know what shock does. Galleon had that. So if you wanted to give it to someone like Nian or Nadia, that's the way you can get it. Uh, yes, I will save here. And for the last room we have... I'm not going to talk to all these guards. I guess they're all silent. Maybe these guys have something to say. Wow. Well, let's talk to the princess then. Hi, Chris Maida. Hello, Neville. I thought you were the Sanctum of Legends. I've just come back. Your father sent me here to remind you that the Council of War will start in a matter of minutes, but it seems you already know it. Indeed, I came here early today looking forward to the meeting. I know that many people will hate me for this, but we must complete the ritual before it's too late. Many innocent people will die, I'm aware of that, but we must sacrifice something in order to survive and to give up hope to our decaying to give hope to our dec decaying kin. The ancient heroes will be proud of my behavior, and that's more than enough for me. I'm not completely convinced of this decision, Chris Maida. So the years didn't dispel your doubts, Exart. I know that we're going to what we're going to do is the right thing for us, but I didn't spend a life training so I could kill innocent people. I will fulfill the mission without spilling blood. I will try to do the same, I promise. This is a war against an enemy that doesn't even know we exist. It will be an infamy to slaughter them. We will complete the ritual with a few casualties as we can. Many subjects of mine will despise me for this, but in the future will be remembered as a savior of Tia's. You must remember, our priority is to save our people, Neville. Guess you're right, Chris Maida. I'll talk to Dial. See you later. My father will be here in a matter of moments. Be quick. Yeah, we're definitely gonna find Dial. Now is the only time where you can find her. You have to talk with both the princess and the prince, otherwise Dial won't show up. And guess where she is? Already been there, but she wasn't there. Now she will magically appear. Dial, we finally found you. Neville, Mishra. I know you'd be here, darling. You always come here to take care of your cane sparrows when you're worried about something important. You know me well, after all. Where have you been all this time? The king delayed the council waiting for your return. We went to the sanctum. The heroes spoke to me. I understand your reason, Dial. You're totally right. But you must understand that if we won't complete the purification ritual on Gaia, life on Altilia will come to an end. I know, but I don't understand why we must attack Gaia itself. That place, so exotic, so beautiful. Look, by what right are we going to invade it? The cosmos is full of empty planets that can be colonized. Gaia is the only one full of people just like us. We have no right to invade the, um, and kill them, Neville. Altilia is becoming an inhospitable planet, that's for sure. But it's not the Gaia's fault. Why must we do, do why must we do this to them? For the sake of our kin, my dear sister. It's been ages since the last assault, and you know well that it was a complete failure. The Catholics were positioned, but the ritual made the planet collapse instead of converting into Ori Hulken. We can't afford to conquer all the lifeless planets. Our time is running out, Dial. We have to conquer Gaia no matter what. Killing the Gaians is not our main purpose, Dial. We'll descend to Gaia and, as our Alcon's Apostles, we will bring the Catholics in their sync course. This is our mission. Once the ritual is complete, Halcon will do the rest and, who knows, maybe we'll be able to live together with the Gaians. I don't know, Mishra. We are Alcon's servants. Without his presence, Altilia will be a lifeless planet just like the others. Halcon will guide us to a new age of prosperity. Think about our future, Dial. Do you remember when we talked about having a family? 
How can we let our children live in a decaying land like Altilia? I just can't let it happen, my dear. As time goes by, our Alcan Crystal gave immense magic power to the creatures of this planet. Sooner or later, they will destroy our home. Misha's right, Dial. I guess you're right. One Piece too, Dial. Keep that in mind. Come on, my dear. Cheer up. You're sulking as usual. Okay, Mishra. Hurry up. Let's go to the council room. The king is waiting for us, and I don't want to disappoint him again. Ah, oh, we actually have to go there? Okay, fine. Ugh. I thought I thought the game was like, okay, you found all of them. I'm just going to teleport you to the council room. No, we actually have to go there. Oh, well. Hey, what can you do? We're going to listen to this council of war, and then probably going to end the episode, because it's already been 15, 25 minutes, actually. 25 minutes. You finally arrived. Let the Council of War begin. As you already know, our goal is to colonize Gaia, the only reachable planet full of vital energy in our reach. With the passing ages, Altilia is slowly becoming an inhospitable place for us. The space we can inhabit is growing insufficient. For this reason, we must find new planets to conquer and purify in order to make them our new home. With the help of all Atelia's inhabitants, we will summon the assault enchantment on our army to let descend on Gaia without being noticed by the enemy. You already know that. Should you fail, we won't be able to bring you back here. Three of you have been appointed to, as apostles and will receive a catholic from Alcan, our spirit guide that lives inside the core of Altilia. Just like the heroes of the past, Hyperion, Phoebe and Temis, you must bring the catholics to their respective cores. Once the Alcan catholics are positioned, the holy purification ritual will begin. The completion of the ritual is in our master's hands. After the Catholics are positioned, the harmony will be brought back here when Altilia, thanks to Hulkan's renewed power. And at last, we'll discover if Gaia is truly the perfect planet for us to begin a new life. If you have any doubts, I'd like to speak with you now. How does the Assault Enchantment work? The Enchantment is a complex spell that needs an incredible amount of vital and magic energy. Every Tia that won't take part in the assault will send all their magical energy on the army that it will invade Gaia. Then the squad will have enough power to teleport in the enemy territory, possibly near one of the, uh, of the cores. In order to complete the spell, Tilly itself will grant us power, and even every Ori Hulk and Crystal level lands will tune into our people, enhancing our magic. Once you land on Gaia, you won't return home until the three catalysts are positioned in their cores. At that point, we'll have enough energy to bring you back. Me, Misha, and Chris Maida are the new Apostles. What is our duty? The Apostles are chosen today as they obtain a catalyst from Alcon's very hands. A catalyst contains the pure essence of Altilia, and it can convert the vital energy of other planets into Hori Hulkan. Using a catalyst is not a simple task. You will receive the ability to tune in to Alcon's power, then you will be able to use the stones. Your objective is to guide the expedition toward the cores and make sure the ritual begins without incident. Remember, only an Apostle of Alcon can use the Catholic's power, so you must leave for the entire duration of the Assault Enchantment. If the Apostles die, the Thias die. How does the Purification Ritual work? Your mission is to carry the three Catholics. Alcon, our spirit guide, is the only one who could use the power of the Catholics to begin the Purification Ritual. The Ritual spell converts the vital energy of the invaded planet in Ori Halcon so that we can establish our new home there. Have we any information about the three sync cores? Miss Idris, headmaster of the Seekers, will surely answer to your questions, Exhort. The sync cores are the places where the planet's life energy is dense and rich. The Gaia planet, or maybe we should call it Ariathail, has three main energy sources. The first is the Sideralai, a space station that orbits around the planet. The energy that keeps the station in orbit is immense, to say the least. The second is the Well of Life, a hundred mile deep well that contains a pure deposit of life energy. Its bottom is our goal. The third, core is co the third core is called Atlantis Garden. This is the biggest energy source of the planet. The Seekers Guild has been studying this place since its founding. You must know the guys inhabitants used to know magic too, but after a devastating war they decided to seal all the planet's magic power in a single spot. 
That spot is now known as Atlantis Garden. Where now towers Alders, the capital of the Merzen Empire. These are the three sink cores. What will happen if we fail? The survival of our species is at stake. As you already know, Altilia's territory is very limited. And as ages pass, our lands become more and more dangerous due to a ferocious monster dominating our wildlands. Every living creature that inhabits Altilia is subject to the Orialkan, the energy the Halcon gave us many ages ago, when he first came here. Each day our powers grow stronger, but the monsters too, and sooner or later they will overcome us and kill us all. That is why we must find another place to colonize. If we don't move, our kin faces extinction. The last three apostles managed to position the Catholics, but the ritual failed because of the host planet energy. It was too different from Altilia's energy. This time the ritual will work. I think that's old, Majesty. Fine, which core will you activate first? The choice is yours. Any ideas, Dial? You know Gaia better than we do. The three cores are well defended because they are the major sources of energy of the whole planet. My advice is to start with the one the Gaia has called Sideralai. From the Levitzoan Empire, you will have many ways to invade other countries toward the remaining cores. Levitzoan is probably the wealthiest empire, and occupying it will grant us technical advantages against the surrounding lands. We'll invade the Levitzoan Empire and take control of its core. Then we'll attack the Well of Life, which is the closer one. And then we'll take care of the one in Atlantis Garden. Very well, now it's time to rest, and tomorrow we'll begin the preparations for the assault. I need a moment to relax. I'll go to the terrace. Thank Chris Maida, you two here? Hey Neville. Everyone comes here to think, it's our tradition. Are you tormented by dumps too? I thought I was the only one. Not exactly, we're just a bit nervous. We know that this assault will bring ruin to the Gaians, but we can't hold back, not anymore. The future of our people is in our hands and Alcans. Rightful or not, this is our fate, we must accomplish our mission. Let's just relax for now. This is our last evening on Altilia, and tomorrow we must be at our best. Right, Mishra. So... Is the date of the wedding set already? And I'm talking to the three of you, Mishra. <laughs> if it weren't for your soul, we would be enjoying our honeymoon right now. Yes, indeed. We haven't f fixed the date yet, but we'll probably marry after the assault when we're finally back home. If everything goes as planned, we might be able to go on a honeymoon on Gaia. That would be fantastic. What about you, Mishra? Will I have a nephew before the end of, the year, of this era? Before the end of this era? Oh, come on, Neville. See, there's family tradition, friend. We start a family while we're still young. What are you talking about? You must roll up your sleeves, then. Your youth ended at least four ages ago, my friend. Hey, how dare you? <laughs> I'm not that old, kiddo. You already, had that, you already had beard when I was born, I think. How dare you talk like this to your exarch? Misha is totally right, my dear friend. It's time to turn the page and find yourself a girlfriend. Duh, what have I done? Oh, the game is healing me now. Oh, well... I wasted 500 on it. Today is the day. Oh, my brave Thea conquerors, gather your soldiers and march to the heart of Altilia. We will finally receive our blessing from Alcon. The time has come. Oh, we're gonna check that out next time on Thea the Crimson Eclipse. See you guys then.